Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now listen, I don't know about you. I need to call in some daily bread, not some. Oh, praise God. Yeah, because you remember David said he daily loads us with not benefits, but benefits. Plural, many benefits. So are you ready to stand in faith with me? Say this with me. Say, Father, I demand today my daily bread. It's coming right now and I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, it is coming. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You spoke these words and you have never lied. Praise God. Father, we honor you today for this broadcast. Thank you for your spirit that ministers grace to our being and guides us into all truth. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, because burdens are being lifted even according to your truth and by your truth right now. Yokes are being destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Now, sharing with you yesterday, we are still dealing on how to walk in 2022. Now, sharing with you yesterday what Jesus said about the light that is in you. The light that is in you. Listen, watch it. Watch it. Don't let anything, don't let anyone darken your light. Don't refuse that to happen. It's not your portion. And guess what? It is your responsibility. I'm telling you this. You may never be able to stop what people do against you. You may never be able to stop it. But there is something you have the ability of doing. Now listen, no matter what anybody does to you, and and, and I want you to hear this right, no matter what anyone does to you, do you know it is you that determines the real outcome of that situation in your life. You determine the outcome. So if you don't know how to handle yourself, you're in deep trouble. You can't stop people from hating you. And then I'm telling you, sometimes you don't have to do anything for people to hate you. You just have to be. You just have to pass their way. And then they just look at you. They don't like the fact that you're wearing a red dress. Because they remember one time many years ago what red dress did to them. They remember they gave their tailor one red dress and he spoiled it. And then they see you wearing a fine red dress and they are just angry at you. There are people like that. And they say, good morning. They refuse to greet you. Now imagine you say, can you imagine? This person refused to greet me. I'm sure he hates me. I'm sure you have no time. This is 2022. You have no time. You have no business with such things. The light that is in you must shine this year. Yes. I want you to say that when you say the light in me must shine this year. And I interpret everything according to the bright light that is in me. Now, let me show you another scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And verse 12. It says, now I love this. It says, now we have received not the spirit of the world. Now, I want you to get this. We have not received the spirit of the world. Now the spirit, there is the spirit of the world. And the spirit of the world carries its light. And the light that the spirit of the world carries is actually darkness. Did you get that? The spirit of the world carries a light. And the light that the spirit of the world carries is darkness. Now, but he says, that's not what we have received. He said, now we have received not the spirit of the world. Meaning we have not received the spirit of the world. We did not receive the spirit of the world. But we have received what spirit? The spirit who is from God. That we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do you know there are things that have been freely given to you by God? Do you know that? 
Do you know God have allotted inheritance for you? Do you know God have given things to you? In Acts chapter 20, he says, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among those who are sanctified. Meaning, there is an inheritance to receive. There is an inheritance that God gives. Paul was speaking in Ephesians chapter 1. He says from verse 16, he was praying for the church. He says that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened so that you will know what is the hope of your calling and what is his, the riches of his glory, of his, of his glory among all the saints. Meaning there is an inheritance for you. There is an inheritance for you. So it says, pray that your eyes be open to see it. So that you will know that God didn't call you to serve him in vain. God didn't call you to live the worldly life, to come to him in vain. Now, people don't understand this sometimes. So you find people say, you know, if, 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 if not that I'm born again, I know what I would have been. I know what I would have. What, what do you mean by that? It's, it's amazing. You know, you know, people still don't. You look at a lot of people and they're like, they don't understand this thing that we do. They don't understand. So when someone says, if not that I was born again, I know what I would have done. Now, what is it that you would have done that would have been good? Everything you can think of doing would have been darkness. And guess what? It would have been death. You remember the scripture says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end of that way is darkness. It's death. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end, the end of that road is death. All right, I says are the ways of death. So there's nothing you can think about and say, oh, if not that I was born again, I know what I would have done. And then you're thinking, what, what would you have done? You would have told a lie. You would have stolen. You would have cheated, right? Now, where would it lead to? So when people talk like that, they feel, oh, the, the, the being a Christian, having the life of God has put a restriction to my being blessed. No, sir. You see, if you don't understand these things, now, now think about Daniel. Daniel had been taken as a slave and taken to, to, to Babylon. And Daniel was in Babylon. And guess what? When they served them food, and Daniel looked at the food and said, no, no, no. The Bible said he proposed in his heart not to defile himself with the king's portion. Now, a man without knowledge will say, instead of me to eat the king's portion, I will rather starve. He said, no, I, I can't eat that thing, so I would rather starve. And then he goes sit down and say, Lord, we are starving because of you. No, Daniel was smarter. He said, listen, listen, the reason he wasn't going to eat of the king's portion is because there is another portion that the Lord has revealed to him. There is another portion that he knew. So now his job is to substitute that portion, you understand what I said, for the king's portion. So he told the eunuch, said, please, um, can you do us this favor? We don't want to eat this. This is what we want to eat. And he and, and then the guy said, no, you're going to put me in trouble. If I try that, the king is going to see that you're not looking so good and I'll be in trouble. Daniel said, try us 10 days. So he wasn't living a beggarly life. Daniel wasn't living a beggarly life. He wasn't living that. If not that, you know, uh, we, are, we are Hebrew people and God have given us cheat commands. Uh, I know I would have been fat. No, brothers and sisters. He, he decided what he knew what he was supposed to be doing. So that's why I say to you too. When you say, you know, I, I can't steal. No, for example, you used to steal before. Now you can't steal because you're born again. It doesn't mean you shouldn't prosper. So I say, ah, how come you don't have money? You that used to have money before. He said, eh, you know, if not, I was born again. Eh, ah, I know where I would have gone to collect money from. Now, 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 now. Hey, now you should know <laughs> somewhere better that you collect money without any strings attached. You should know. And that's what we're talking about. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, 
but the spirit of which is of God, so that we know the things that have been freely given to us. So the spirit of God in you now is now your light. So with that light, you can search and know what is yours. You can know what has been freely given to you. That was how Daniel knew what to eat and he will be healthy. And the eunuch said, no, no, no. He said, 10 days, 10 days, 10 days. And the guy thought about it, okay. 10 days is enough for me to correct any mistake. All right, 10 days. And the Bible said, after 10 days, he came and checked. Guess what? Daniel and his friends, they were looking more healthy than these other guys. And I believe in my heart that you know would have met Daniel and said, Daniel, you know what? I think I'm going to start serving everyone this thing you're eating. Because I love the way you're looking. When you're looking this way before the king and everybody's looking this way, then the king is going to praise me and promote me. You see, that is how we bring forth the light that is in us to bear in everything that we do. Don't sit down there and be saying, hey, you know, I just have to, I've dedicated my life to Christ too, if not. So the places I used to go and get things done before, I can't go there anymore. That's why it looks like I'm suffering. No, you're not suffering. Turn on your light. Turn on your light. The Spirit has been given to you. The Holy Spirit has been given to you. If you are truly born again, not just being religious, if you are truly born again, the Holy Ghost has been given to you. He is now inside you. He is now your light. Hey, guess what? You need money. He's the one that will guide you to where you find money. You know, you can't you can, you can have light and be walking in the dark. The Holy Spirit is now your light. He is now your light. And you carry him everywhere you go. You may be in a place that is so dark physically, but guess what? The light in you can, he, he will tell you, go right, pick up something there. And you, everywhere, everywhere is dark, nobody can move. But the Holy Spirit can direct you even in that darkness. Listen to me. Don't play with the truth that is in you. You carry light inside of you. And that is the spirit of God that is in you. Now, that spirit is the one that will lead you. This is why we don't speak anyhow. This is why we don't speak carelessly. This is why we watch what we say. Now, because what you say will reveal what is in your heart. What you say will reveal the kind of light that you carry. If truly light is in there or darkness is coming out of it. What you say. Now, what you say is actually what you have interpreted. Let me tell you something. It's easy to know when you're beginning to make progress. It's easy to know. How do you know? Your vocabulary begins to change. That's how you know you're making progress. Your vocabulary begins to change. And then you want to know how you're going, if, if you're going higher or not, the same way you know your vocabulary will begin to, you'll begin to leave the good things for the better things. You, you just know that I don't talk like this anymore. I don't talk like the way I used to talk to any, talk about, talk, talk about, talk about any, anymore. I don't talk that way anymore. My words are changing. My vocabulary is changing. Why? Because you are allowing the light of God that is in you to assess the things that have been freely given to you. Listen, 2022, make up your mind to live from inside out. If you're going to be prosperous this year, it's not because somebody is going to give you a job. It's not because somebody is going to give you a contract. It is because you are going to reveal the light of God that is inside you. That is the light that will attract the favor. It will attract the contract. It will attract the job. It will attract every good will that you can get. So hey, examine the light that is in you first. Is it light or is it dark? The moment you note that, then it is time to allow light. If it is light, if it is darkness that is inside you, then you need to change. You need to get born again. If you say you're born again, but then you notice, I described yesterday how you know it's darkness that is working in you. If you see that darkness is working in you, then you need some help. You need to change that. You need to go before the Lord and say, Lord, I receive your light into my spirit. 
Is that going to change the way I see? But if that light of God is inside you, hey, it's time to let it shine. Praise God. Because my time is up. Hallelujah. I'm going to see you tomorrow. And today, listen, let your light so shine for you. And you will find favor in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow.